I respect three things. Strength, justice, America, and lasagna, said Garfield with heart. Very good, Garfield. You are manly enough for the right. You must go ahead into the arena and survive all challenges. I never met a wolf I did not like to slam, said Garfield wittily, as he took the wolves and slammed them on one on one like lightweight footballs. Garfield and Grunt heard loud earthquake sound. It was the Thrasher Maw. Aha, Garfield, I see you've beaten my wolves, but can you beat me with mighty muscle? You will be cat stew on my turkey dinner, or the Thrasher Maw with evil stitches. Here, have Knuckles sandwich instead, but do not be choking on the bone, said Garfield with cool style as he jumped at the Thrasher Maw and punched him with the force of runaway speed train. No, why me? cried the Thrasher Maw as he was punched into two with manly force. Like, uh, <clears throat> and we begin. Uh, <laughs> Epic. Garfield Effect. Galaxy Adventure, Part 4. <laughs> it was a warm, sunny morning on the city, full of blooming rose flowers and violet plants. Garfield was playing intense games of b-ball with Garrus in the b-ball arena. A boombox was playing cool hip-hop beats while they were playing. Garfield and Garrus were both scoring slam dunks and making points. Garfield had the ball, was spinning it on his finger like hurricane. Garrus was trying to block the ball with his legs. Garfield then threw the ball from across the field, scoring a basket with mighty swoosh and winning the game. Wow, Garfield, that is one kind of shot, said Garrus with awe. It was nothing. I am working up sweat, though. Let us hit the showers, said Garfield with sweaty confidence. Oh, this is going to be good. In the locker room, Garrus snapped Garfield's behind with his towel for comedy. Ha ha, Garrus, you are such comedian, said Garfield with jolly laughter. Towels are fierce weapons for proud warriors, said Garrus jokingly. Garfield, this is EDI. We have new reports of crew member for you, Jack the Criminal, said EDI with informative voice. Where is this criminal, said Garfield with question. Jack is in the Blue Suns flying prison purgatory, said EDI. I do not like Blue Suns. They are unmanly bad doers, said Garfield with distrust. It is okay, they promise not to do bad, said EDI with consolation. Very well, set course for purgatory at maximum speed. Do not stop for man, woman, or child, said Garfield, finger pointing in the air. The Normandy sped for purgatory with galactic urge, not stopping for supernovas or black holes. At arriving at purgatory, Garfield landed on roof and entered flying prison. Greeting, Garfield, I am Blue Sun's leader of purgatory. I am here to guide you to Jack, said the Blue Sun's leader of purgatory. Better not try to be funny or I will silence humor forever, said Garfield with serious tone. I promise to be good and right citizen, said Blue Sun's leader of Purgatory. The Blue Sun's leader of Purgatory led Garfield to a cell which had Jack in it. Hello, Garfield, I am Jack the criminal. I am bad person, said Jack. You are girl, yet not girly, said Garfield with wonder. I am tough, scrappy female with troubled past, said Jack. Come, let us go back to Normandy, said Garfield in an understanding tone. Not so fast, Garfield. You are in my prison now, said Evil Blue Sun's leader. Where he surrounded Garfield and Jack with many Blue Sun soldiers. What? said Garfield with a roaring roar. I am taking you in prison for money. I will be rich, said Blue Sun's leader with lusty greed. You Blue Suns are yellow like dogs. First you take my lasagna, now... No more I will be spending you to a early hell more, shouted Garfield with manly vocal cords. It is too late, Garfield. You are surrounded. You are mine forever," said Blue Sun's leader, Purgatory. "Humph, fool! You are the only you are the one in prison of greed," said Garfield with philosophy. Garfield then put his fingers in the mouth and blew his whistle with fury. Garfield's custom Harley Davidson motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> crashed through his jamming two cool triumphant music at the game. Garfield then hopped on the motorcycle and put on his sunglasses because the sun is always shining on Garfield, even in spaceships. Time for joyriding, said Garfield chilly, as he took out a lasagna-flavored cigarette and put it in his mouth. Garfield put his motorcycle on hyperspeed and blazed through the Blue Sun mercenaries. Curses you, Garfield, said the Blue Sun's leader of Purgatory as he shook his fist in the air. I have appetites for violence, and it is almost dinner time. <laughs> Garfield on your flavored cigarette. Chew on this, Garfield, said Blue Sun's leader as he chucked grenade at Garfield with desperation. You should try some of your own cookings before serving, said Garfield coolly as he shot the grenade with his desert eagle back at the Blue Sun's leader <laughs> of Purgatory who caught it in his mouth. Garfield, screamed the Blue Sun's leader of Purgatory as he exploded. Looks like it blew up in your stomach, said, Gar said Garfield slyly as he walked away. Garfield, you must leave now, said Jack the criminal. 
No problem, babe. Hop on my Harley, said Garfield. Jack hopped on the back of his motorcycle, gripping Garfield's waist. Garfield and Jack rode out of purgatory with speed of unicorns. Here is present to remember me by, said Garfield as he looked back to the ship and tossed his lasagna-flavored cigarette in purgatory, causing it to explode. Garfield and Jack <laughs> landed back in the Normandy where Garrison crew were waiting. Good work, Garfield. You saved the day again, said Garrison with thumbs up. It was easy like lasagna cake, said Garfield with relaxed sigh. Garfield, you saved my life, but still I don't like you because I am bad, because, said Jack the criminal. Ho oh, ho, Garfield looks like she will not fall for your charm, said Garrus jokingly. Want to bet? I can make Lady out of her yet, said Garfield with knowing this. Okay, Garfield, I bet you $500 lasagna you cannot make her to proper Lady, said Garrus with smirk. You are on, bonehead, said Garfield with handshake. Garfield then walked over to Jack with purpose. Jack, I am taking you shopping and making you into Lady, said Garfield. Okay, but I am still not liking you, said Jack. Garfield and Jack then went to Citadel to go shopping for clothes and make a few. Try on this dress, Jack, said Garfield as he gave her a short purple sparkly dress. Okay, Garfield, but I still don't like you, said Jack as he tried on the dress. Jack tried on the purple dress as well as matching purse and perfume with smelling of flowers and lasagna. Garfield, I feel like true woman, thank you, said Garfield. No problem, let's go back to Normandy for celebration, said Garfield. On returning to Normandy, Garrus saw Jack as true lady and bet. Wow, she is true lady. I have lost bet. Here is your five hundred dollars said Garrus with defeat. Thank you, Garrus. I will spend it on pantaloons, said Garfield with victory. <laughs> as Garfield took his prize money, he went to the captain's cabin where he saw Jack was waiting for him. Garfield, you were like man like no other. I did not think love was possible until now, said Jack with love in her eyes. <laughs> you are a special lady now that you have nice dress pretty to look at, said Garfield with understanding voice. <laughs> yes, Garfield, thank you for making me worthwhile. Let me thank you with special gift, said Jack with flirtations. Sure thing, sexy babe. Let me show you my Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Let me warn you, I am rough and tough rebel, said Jack with sass. I will rebel your in your pants, said Garfield Romance. Garfield and Jack did embrace and made sweet lovings all day and night until they broke dawn. To be continued in part. Five.